Dear friends, I am Dr. K. Kannan, Professor of Mechanical Engineering, Kair College of Engineering, Trichy. This is another lecture on the solution to the gate question paper in Mechanical Engineering subject. In this lecture, we are going to take few problems on the fluid mechanics and machines. In the topic laminar flow, so this is lecture number 58. Uh, we, we solved problem in the laminar flow part 3. In the earlier two lectures also we solved gate questions in the laminar flow. Uh, here again we solved few more problem in the laminar flow. The first question it was asked in the 2006. The velocity profile in fully developed laminar flow in a pipe of diameter capital D is given by u equal to u o into 1 minus 4 small r square by capital R square, where small r is the radial distance from the center and the capital R is the outer radius of the pipe. If the viscosity of the fluid is mu, the pressure drop across the across a length of L of the pipe is given by, uh, we have four options here. The correct answer is delta P, option D, delta P equal to 16 mu u o l divided by d square is the correct answer. We will see how in the uh, next slide. So, this is the velocity distribution for a pipe of uh, uniform diameter. So, u equal to u o into 1 minus 4 r square by d square. It is what given in the problem. The shear stress in the pipe is given by tau equal to dou p by dou x into r by 2. The shear stress is also given by minus mu into du by dr. So, shear, there are two expressions for shear stress in terms of pressure gradient, in terms of velocity change, velocity gradient. Now, we take the two equations are equal. So, dou p by dou x into r by 2 equal to mu into du by dr. So, the velocity distribution is given, u is given here. So, you substitute for u. So, dp by d, do, dou p by dou r into r by 2 equal to minus mu d by dr, u o is a constant into 1 minus 4 r square by capital D square. So, differentiating the term inside the bracket, so mu into u o into differentiating 1, it becomes 0, 4 r square by capital D square, it becomes 8 r divided by capital D square. We take the same equation here. Uh, dp by dr into r equal to minus mu into u o into 0 minus 8 r by d square. So, the r is getting cancelled. So, integrating this equation left hand side. So, dou p by dou x integrating it becomes delta b by delta x. Delta x equal to l. So, delta p by l into 1 by 2 because r is getting cancelled. So, mu into u o into 8 by d square. So, delta P equal to 16 mu u o L divided by D square. That is the answer to the problem. The next question, uh, it is from the gate 2008 question paper. Two pipes of uniform cross section but different diameter carry water at the same volumetric flow rate. The water properties are the same in the two pipes. The Reynolds number based on the pipe diameter, there are four options here. So, is same as both the pipes is larger in the narrow pipe, is smaller in the narrower pipe, depends on the pipe material. So, among the four options, the correct option is, it is larger in the narrower pipe. So, we have two pipes of different diameter for the same property, same volume flow rate, the Reynolds number will be larger in a narrower pipe. So, we have to prove our answer. So, we will see how. So, the discharge Q1 equal to Q2, the same discharge. Diameter of the pipe are the different. So, we take Reynolds number equal to uh, Vd divided by nu. Velocity in the diameter divided by kinematic viscosity. Uh, substituting for velocity, which is discharge divided by the area. So, Qd divided by pi by 4 d square into nu. So, simplifying, this will be Q into divided by pi by 4 capital D diameter into nu kinematic viscosity. So, Reynolds number is proportional to 1 by diameter. You take same discharge, same properties of the fluid. Reynolds number is proportional to 1 by the diameter. When the diameter increases, uh, Reynolds number will decrease. So, for smaller diameter, Reynolds number will be the larger. That is the option, uh, the answer for the question. 
So Reynolds number is inversely proportional to diameter. The Reynolds number is larger in the narrower pipe. That is the conclusion. Next question from 2009 question paper. The pressure drop for laminar flow of a fluid of a liquid in a smooth pipe at normal temperature and pressure is directly proportional to the density, inversely proportional to the density, independent of the density, proportional to the density to the power 0 0.75. So, the pressure drop in laminar flow smooth pipe is given by P1 minus P2 equal to 32 mu u bar L divided by d square. So, the velocity, the, the pressure drop is independent of the density of the fluid. So, the property, no way in the right hand side we have the density. So, it is independent of the density of the fluid. That is the answer to the question. Water is flowing through a horizontal pipe of constant diameter and uh, flow and the flow is laminar. If the diameter of the pipe is increased by 50 percent, keeping the volume flow rate constant, then the pressure drop in the pipe due to the friction decreases by, uh, there are four options here, 33 percent, 50 percent, 70 percent, 80 percent. So, this is from the 2011 question paper. This question is from 2011 question paper. So, the correct option is 80 percent. So, the, when the diameter increases by 50 percent for the same volume flow rate, the pressure drop in the pipe due to friction decreases by 80 percent. So, we will see how in the next slide. So, pressure drop for the laminar flow P1 minus P2 equal to 32 mu u bar L divided by d square. So, which is 32 mu L divided by d square substituting for velocity. This is discharge by the diameter. So, Q by pi by 4 d square. So, this will be 32 q mu l divided by pi by 4 d to the power 4. So, delta p is proportional to 1 by d to the power 4. So, diameter is increased by 50 percent. So, d1 equal to 1.5 times of diameter. Then, percentage of increase in the pressure drop 1 by d power 4 minus 1 by d1 to the power 4 divided by 1 by d power 4 uh, simplifying. So, this will be 80 percentage. So, 1.54 minus 1.5 to the power 4 minus 1 to the power 4 divided by 1.5 to the power 4 equal to 0 0.8 which is 80 percent. So, when the diameter reduces by 50 percent, then the, uh, the diameter increase by 50 percent, then the pressure drop decreases by 80 percent. That is the answer to the question. Next question from 2014 question paper, water flows through a pipe having inner radius of 10 millimeter at the rate of 36 kilograms per hour at 25 degrees Celsius. The viscosity of the water is 20, at 25 degrees Celsius is 0 0.001 kilogram per meter second. The Reynolds number is, you have to calculate the Reynolds number. The Reynolds number is 636. So, we calculate the answer, velocity of the flow. So, for the given diameter. Uh, diamonds we given parameter we calculate the velocity velocity v equal to m divided by rho into a so a equal to pi r square so mass flow rate is 36 divided by 3600 converted into seconds density is 1000 pi 3.14 and radius equal to 10 millimeter so 0 0.01 square so this equal to 0 0.0318 meters per second now calculating the reynolds number Reynolds number equal to rho v d divided by mu, rho is density 1000, velocity is 0 0.0318 and the diameter, so we are given radius 10 millimeter, so 2 times the radius 2 into 0 0.01 divided by 0 0.001, 0 0.001 equal to 636, so that is the answer to the question, Reynolds number equal to 636. The next question from 2014 question paper, for fully developed flow of water in a pipe having diameter 10 centimeter and velocity 0 0.1 meters per second, kinematic viscosity 10 power of minus 5 meters square per second. The value of Darcy friction factor is, is a dash. We have to find the answer. The answer is 0 0.064. Uh, we will see how. First of all, we calculate the Reynolds number for the flow. The Reynolds number equal to Vd divided by nu. So, velocity is 0 0.1, diameter equal to 0 0.1, divided by kinematic viscosity 10 power minus 5. So, the Reynolds number equal to 1000. So, the friction factor for a laminar flow, F equal to 64 by Reynolds number. So, 64 by 1000 equal to 0 0.064. That is the answer to the question for uh, this problem. Darcy friction factor for Reynolds number, uh, for, a, for the laminar flow, sorry. The next question, 
from 2014 question paper again a fluid of dynamic viscosity 2 into 10 power minus 5 kilogram per meter second and density 1 kilogram per meter cube flows with an average velocity of 1 meters per second through a long duct of rectangular cross section 25 millimeter cross 15 millimeter assuming laminar flow a pressure drop in a fully developed region per meter length of the duct is dash pascal so the answer is 1.82 pascal so we will calculate how in the next slide mu equal to 2 into 10 power minus 5 absolute viscosity 2 into 10 power minus 5 kilogram per meter second density equal to 1 kilogram per meter cube the side of the rectangle a 25 millimeter b 15 millimeter velocity equal to 1 meters per second and take length of the pi, length of the duct equal to 1 meter so the hydraulic diameter 2ab divided by a plus b which is 2 into a 0 0.025 into 0 0.015 divided by 0 0.025 plus 0 0.015 so this equal to 0 0.01875 meter so di hydraulic diameter then pressure drop for the laminar flow through the smooth pipe so p1 minus p2 equal to 32 into mu u bar l divided by d square so here we have to substitute the hydraulic diameter so 32 into mu equal to 2 into 10 power minus 5 u bar equal to velocity equal to 1 meters per second and length equal to 1 meter and divided by diameter square 0 0.0185 square equal to 1.82 club pascal that is the pressure drop for the rectangular duct so we stop here so this are all the books i have written in the mechanical engineering subject uh, you can read it for your better understanding the subject so thank you for watching please post your comments on the comments box if you got any queries you can write to my mail or whatsapp number i will answer to your question we'll meet again in another video lecture in the solution for the gate question in field mechanics until then bye